This is the day that the Lord has made, so let's rejoice and be glad in it. Hello and happy Friday. God bless you. I'm Pastor A.D., Pastor of True Vine, NBC here in Houston, Texas. And I thank you so much for joining us for what I like to call the pastoral moment. This is the time I get to encourage you and enlighten you with the word of God. And today I want to encourage you. Seeking God is the answer. Seeking God is the answer. And it's always the answer. Think about increasing in faith, increasing in maturity, growth in Christ, anything really. When it comes to being a better person, being a better believer in Christ, it's all about seeking God. Wanting better, needing better, seeking God is the answer. First Chronicles 16 and 11, it reads, look to the Lord and his strength. Seek his face always. So right there, even in the Old Testament, they knew, believers knew, that the only way to have a success, and, all the, and, and the only way to grow in Christ, the only way to be a better person, the only way to have better things, the only way to be healed, the only way to um, find that type of structure in, 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 in yourself and your family and on and on, it's all in Christ. It's all in Christ. So you got to learn to look towards God. Seek his face always. And that's what we must do. We'll find strength. You'll find joy. You'll find happiness. You'll find peace when you seek God. Jeremiah, Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 13. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. So, hey, we got to learn to seek God because when you seek him, you're going to what? Find him. And that's the thing. You got to find him because God searches the heart. So the thing about seeking God, you got to come with the heart and seek God knowing knowingly within your heart and your mind that you're seeking God, that you really want God, that you're thirsting and hungering after God, and that you may be filled with righteousness. And then we have Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all things will be given to you as well. So seek it first, the kingdom and his righteousness. Seek it first and all things. It didn't say some, it said all these things. What things? All these things will be given to you as well. So we got to learn to seek God. Seek him on every hand. Seek him on every hand that he may be found. Seek him while he may be found. So seek him. Don't wait too late. Seek God in every situation. Seek God in every circumstance. Seek God in every trial and tribulation. Seek him now. Go after God and you will find him. Acts 17 27, Acts 17, 27. God did this so that they would seek him and perhaps reach out for him and find him, though he is not far from any one of us. Let's see, that's the thing. We got to learn things happen in our life for a reason. Things are happening in our life for a purpose. Things are happening. And it's all because we got to learn to seek God. We got to learn to come after him and he's pulling us his way, but you got to come after him. It's up to you. You got to learn to search God and seek God. You got to learn to come after God. What about, don't you want to have a relationship with God, a great relationship, a divine relationship with God? You must go after God if you want that. You won't find it just by doing nothing. You got to learn to seek God. That means praying, getting in your word, fasting, on and on, so on and so on. Going, coming to church, praise and worship. You got to learn to worship God. You got to learn to lift up his holy name. You got to learn these things. You got to go after God if you want him. Go after him diligently. Then we have Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6. And without faith, it is impossible to please God because anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who earnestly seek him. So, hey, Without faith, you're just spinning your wheels. You're spinning your wheels. You're praying, but you're praying in doubt. You're spinning your wheels. You're, 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 you're wanting to believe, but you can't because doubt has taken over. And so you're spinning your wheels. It's not going to work. You must have faith. Without faith, it's impossible to please God. So just with the, the size of a, faith with the size of a mustard seed. Think about that. And that's the tiniest seed of a tree you can find. So you think about that and think about that seed. You think about what type of faith you need. You just need some kind of faith in Christ and believing that he's going to do it. And once you give it to him, leave it alone because anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists. Don't you believe he exists and that he rewards those who earnestly seek him. So you got to believe that he exists. You got to know that in your heart that he exists. You got to know it that you know that he exists. And then you have the 
Be ready to receive the reward. It's going to come, but you got to wait on them. It's going to come. It's going to happen, but you got to believe. You got to do these certain things you got to do. You got to be in action. You got to move on it. You got to move and believe and speak those things that are not as though they were. Believe that. Then we have the last one, James chapter four, verse eight. Come near to God and he will come near to you. Wash your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. So think about it. We got to learn to come near to God. We got to go after God. He will come near to you. You got to learn to really, really, I mean, run after God, chase God, be really relentless behind God. I mean, go after God like never before, and he will come to you. Wash your hands, you sinners, and purify your heart. You got to clean yourself up. That's the thing. Whenever I... Whenever I enter to God's house, whenever I at home, if I'm at home and I want to go into prayer, if I want to go into some type of praise or worship, if I'm in a car, anywhere at work, it doesn't matter. Wherever I am, before I come to God, before I present myself before God, what I do, I ask for forgiveness of my sins. I repent. You got to have a repentant heart, okay? You got to have a repentant heart. You got to repent before God. And that's what I do. I like to cleanse. I like the cleansing before I go before him. Um, and though he sees us as righteous, but still I want to cleanse. I want to repent. And that's what we should do. Repent. And, um, and really, man, wash your hands of those things, cleanse yourself, purify your heart and double minded, thinking double minded of, um, and seeing one moment and how to see it. And I mean, just being double minded. We got to learn to do better when it comes to Christ. And that's the thing. If you want God, you got to go after him. If you want anything, you got to go after him. Right? So, Definitely God. If you want God, go after God. Seek him while he may be found. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Pastor AD, Pastor Truvine, NBC. And I thank you so much for all your support. Thank you for all the likes. Thank you for all the comments. Continue to support this channel. Share this channel. And I pray that you were encouraged today. Tune in Sunday for the word of God. God bless you. May you have a blessed weekend. And try to stay warm. <laughs> to God be the glory. We love you here at True Vine. And we thank you so much. You want to know why? Because we're True Vine. And we are the church of love. God bless. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to this channel and join our online Christian family. Tithes, offerings, and donations can be made via Cash App at dollar sign TVMBC or by mail at True Vine Missionary Baptist Church 1407 Grove Street Houston, Texas, 77020. Thank you so much and have a blessed day.